Hi, this is Mako coming at you from Mako's Real Estate Experts. Today we're going to talk about numbers. The numbers are in for January and uh, we're going to talk about rates of absorption. What that means is, let's say we have 100 homes on the market and we consume 18 to 22 of those homes a month. That's a balanced market, good for buyers, good for sellers. If we're consuming less than 18 out of 100 homes a month, that becomes a really good buyer's market. Buyers have lots of choices. So homes are not selling very quickly. Sellers are having to make price adjustments in order to get their homes sold. If we have over 22 homes a month selling out of 100, that becomes a seller's market, becomes really good for sellers. Um, they're putting their homes up on the market, putting a sign in the yard. People are screeching their brakes and saying it's sold. <laughs> it's a great time to be in. Unfortunately, that's not where we are today. Today, Abbotsford is at a 12% rate of absorption, meaning 12 out of, 12 out of 100 homes are selling. It means it's a buyer's market. Sellers are having to reduce their prices. Buyers have lots of choices. Uh, Mission is also at a 12% rate of absorption. This is, these are the numbers for January. <clears throat> and uh, Langley is at a 16% rate of absorption, which is the first time that Langley's come down below 18% in a very, very long time. So this is to kind of typical just for the, the, the post-Christmas market. It's always a little slow during this time. It doesn't mean it's going to be like this in spring. Springtime things always pick up and uh, more homes sell during spring than any other time during the year. So let's keep our hopes up. This is Mako. If you have any questions about absorption rates, Abbotsford Real Estate, Langley Real Estate, you just shoot me an email at callmako at hotmail.com. You have a great day.